This video is brought to you in collaboration with Wowhead.com. Hello everyone. Sylvanas Windrunner has taken on Bovar the Lich King in a 1v1. A fight that he actually expected to happen and he planned for by keeping his newly resurrected death knights and the four horsemen away, kept in the dark of what he actually knew. Windrunner was coming for him, so the icy prison of his own design melted. He made ready to dive deep into the powers of the Lich King, at great risk of course, with the potential of losing himself. But the alternative, Sylvan has taken the helmet, becoming the Lich Queen. It was a much worse future. In the meantime, Darien and the Horsemen, they didn't know what was going on, and Bovar wasn't giving any answers. They thought that he was losing control, so they moved Ekras, made ready to take him out. This is what Four Dragon actually wanted. Either he was going to be weakened from his duel with Sylvanas, or Sylvanas would still be new to the Lich King's powers. Vulnerable. A small window of opportunity to strike. But never had he dared to dream of what Sylvanas would actually do once she claimed the helmet, ripping it apart and shattering the veil between this world and the next. Nazgrim and Whitemane, they found him after the battle carried him back to Acarus, ready to follow his lead. For if there's anyone that can guide us on what to do next, guide us on our journey into the Shadowlands, our rescue mission to get back our missing leaders, it would be the High Lords. Before her minions abducted key leaders, the Banshee Queen attacked Ice Crown. She cut a path to the Frozen Throne and seized the Helm of Domination. Look to the sky and you will see the results of her actions. I have never beheld anything like this. But shattering the helm also freed Bolvar Four Dragon from the burden of being the Lich King. Bolvar believes he knows where the Banshee has taken those she abducted. He awaits you at the Frozen Throne. The leaders of the Alliance and Horde have gathered with him. The peace remains tenuous. These are troubled times. Our people need stability. Alliance and Horde alike. We cannot risk sending Azeroth's leaders on what might well be a suicide mission. Our friends who were abducted would offer the same counsel. Coward! I would pay any price to see the Banshee impaled upon my glaive. I too want Sylvanas to answer for her crimes. But Lorthamar is right. Anduin wouldn't want us to risk the well-being of the Alliance for his sake. The Kaldori need you if they are to have any hope of finding peace, High Priestess. You dare speak to me of peace? After the atrocities your kind inflicted? Enough! The war is over! We can ill afford to start another! A far more pressing threat is at hand, and we must prepare to face it. During my vigil upon the Frozen Throne, I caught fleeting glimpses into the realms of death. Among them, I saw a place of inescapable darkness. That is where you must go, if you are to save those Sylvanas has taken. Together, we can open the way. When the helm rested upon my head, it took all my will to keep its insidious power in check. Many times, I nearly faltered. I dare not travel with you. Even free of the helm, I fear I would become bound to the will of its true master. The dangers you face will be considerable. Alone, you may well be outmatched. To aid in this task, the Knights of the Ebon Blade shall lend you their strength. Darien Mograin has volunteered to fight at your side. The Ebon Blade does not fear death, here or in realms beyond. Living mortals were never intended to cross beyond the Veil. Where you are going, you may be unable to return. But there is no other course. Death comes to claim Azeroth. It falls to you to defend her. The 
time has come. Take up the Shattered Helm, and we will open the rift. The path opens. Your courage will be remembered, champion. Aldiel Shalah. Find those who were taken, and bring them home. Rescue the others! The Banshee is mine to kill! Tyrande! Don't do this! Tor Ilisar Theranol! We cannot lose you to the darkness. You made it through the rift. Good. I'm glad to the High Priestess. Perhaps she charged ahead into the chaos. Through the rift. Good. I doubt this mission could succeed without you. No sign yet of the High Priestess. Perhaps she charged ahead into the chaos. Welcome to the Ma, a realm shrouded in mystery, as nothing is supposed to escape it. You are all nothing! And so, no real information leaves this domain. We're lucky enough to have outside sources helping fill some of the blanks. What is known is rumor, and the rumor is nightmare. In the deepest depths of the Shadowlands lies the inescapable Ma. The souls imprisoned in this hopeless realm are the unforgiven and irredeemable, but even their crimes cannot compare to those of their jailer. The Ma is like a malevolent lantern, a realm not devoid of light, but one in which light is held captive like the damned the Ma was built to imprison. The laws that bind the Shadowlands are meaningless within the Jailer's realm. Reality is ever-changing within the Ma, which is continually altering itself to the whims of its singular master. Should the ancient evil chained here break free, all of reality will be consumed. At least according to the WoW websites. The master, the banished one, the jailer, or Zoval. He has many names. He wants to get out of there, and he's recruited, amongst others, Sylvanas Windrunner to his side. This is that true master of the helmet that Bolvar mentioned earlier, meaning that they're adding lore to Frostmourne, Domination Gear, and the story of the Lich King. In the past, credit to this was given to the Dreadlords, Kiljaden, and the Burning Legion. Now, there's a connection established to the Jailer, which could have huge implications for the overall story of Warcraft, but a lot of it is still kept in the dark. Same for Sylvanas' motivations and reasons for allying with the Jailer, or what the Jailer actually wants to do once he does break free, who this Jailer is, why he's in the Maw, that's all still to be explained. But right here, right now, we need to find our missing leaders. Now Tyrande added to the mix, as she refused to stay behind and let us do the dirty work. The Night Warrior lusts for vengeance, and will let nothing stand in the way of claiming Sylvanas' head. It's also interesting to see that it's Kalia Menefil, sister to Arthas Menefil, resurrected in the light, that she was there, representing on the Horde side. As far as we know, it's actually Lillian Voss that leads the Forsaken at the moment. But Kalia was there, offering advice. Toronto refused to hear. There is no... We rally up ahead. Scope! We are vastly outnumbered. Let's try not to draw unwanted attention. Keep an eye out for clues that point to the whereabouts of our allies. Frost magic. Looks like the work of our friend, the Lord Admiral. The conflict seems to move in this direction. We should follow the trail before it grows... cold. More of Lady Proudmoore's handiwork. It would be unwise to break the enchantment. Let's move along. The Lord Admiral is truly formidable to have bested one of these monstrosities. Hold! What's that up ahead? Up ahead! It's Lady Proudmore! Looks like we've secured the Lord Admiral. I'll signal the Ebon Blade to advance. Thank the light you found us. We can't stay here. Can you walk, Thrall? I... will manage. Thank you for coming to my aid, Jaina. 
Something's flying at us from above! They found us! Be ready! Struggle all you like, mortals. You cannot escape your fate! We're overrun! I'm getting us out of here! I left some mere images behind to keep them distracted. The illusion won't hold for long. Hurry! There's a cave just around the bend. With any luck, we can reach it before they notice. Let's hope so. Our captors won't be pleased you managed to slip past them again. You will not evade our grasp, mortals. Well, there goes our luck. Knights, secure the cave! We'll hold off these speeds! So much for remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. What did Thrall mean by slip past them again? We've escaped before. Indeed. I've broken free countless times, only to end up back in a cage. I've hidden inside this cave before. We can't stay long, but it should buy us a little time. Another ambush! Bring them down! Lord Admiral, before we found you, did you see any sign of the Night Warrior? Tyrande? Here? No, I have not. She leapt into the rift just ahead of us. She vowed to find Sylvanas Windrunner. At any cost. That is troubling. An ancient ritual infused her with incredible power. I fear it may be growing beyond her ability to contain it. Your cell awaits, mage. The Jailer has plans for you! I've had enough of your cages, fiend! There is nowhere to run! Nothing escapes the Maw! It is useless to resist! In here! <sighs> we should be safe enough here for the moment. When you first arrived, I wasn't sure if you were even real, or if you were just another illusion meant to torment us. I was beginning to lose hope that I'd see anyone from our world again. Where to begin? Denizens call this realm the Maw. From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Something has changed. Pure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Indeed. And one of their tormentors, and ours, is Sylvanas Windrunner. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The Shades whisper of someone called... The Jailer. The Jailer rules this realm. We know little about him, but it's clear he has taken a special interest in us. He has personally overseen our... treatment here. We have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being... tested. Though for what purpose, I cannot say. Whatever this Jailer and the Banshee are planning, it won't end well. For any of us. I caught glimpses of Bane and Anduin during my attempts to break free. They live. That's... All I know for certain, but I have found no means of leaving them all. I can only manage to teleport short distances. This nightmare feels... inescapable. Countless souls are now pouring into this realm. Some have been here for untold ages. Perhaps one of them knows a way out. I can scarcely imagine the horror such spirits have endured. I fear there's nothing left of them to save. They manifest as malevolent shades that wander the darkness. I doubt they'd willingly help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways to compel the dead to speak. If we seize one of them, we can extract its secrets. Sylvanas and the Jailer, they got in contact with each other at the end of Wrath the Lich King. The time where she had claimed her vengeance upon Arthas and felt like she was done. No longer did she want to endure her tormented undead life. So she decided to jump from the top of Ice Crown, and she ended up here in the Shadowlands, ended up in the Maw. That's where their connection began. 
debts where she made a bargain. Nine Velkir agreed to a pact to keep her out of hell, to serve as her tethers to mortality. And this pact, it needed to be made. Only then could she return beyond the veil. Only then will the Banshee Queen claim the crown of the False King, the Helm of Domination, which was crafted to be the way forward. Instead, the one who is seared by the flames of life, Bolvar Four Dragon, he has used it to keep them at bay, but no longer. Now, bend it to your will. You cannot bind me. I will obey. Darian is going to spend some time with our new friend, trying to get some answers out of it. In the meantime, we join Frau and Jaina to the Tremaculum, where they're keeping King Anduin. It's interesting to see that the leaders that were taken captive by Sylvanas, they were not just the ones that had stood in their way during battle for Azeroth. They're also, in general, the ones that speak towards peace. At least, for now they do. The pressure and blow after blow that Anduin has had to endure, like the death of his father, leading the alliance during Legion and battle for Azeroth. All that pressure, it, it makes the boy king slip, within the novel shadows rising. A wisp of purple energy traveled down his arm, gathering in his palm. It happened in a blink, coming and going, but it was enough for his captor, Sira Moonwarden, to laugh at him and ask how it feels to know that you have lost, for time will prove it so. Ah, well, take heart, falling lion. You will serve well. You will serve well. The boy king serves at the master's table. Three lives will he offer you. There's Anduin. Sylvanas, what does she want with him? You won't succeed. <sighs> Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we seek. In a night. Anduin! How badly are you hurt? I will live. I'm relieved you're all safe. These bonds are too strong to break by force. We must find a way to free him. Anduin has seen many souls brought here during his detention. And a jailer... He seems to want to break them, to twist them into his service, or worse. No soul deserves such a fate, so we set them free, sending them off to our Ebonblade allies back in the cave, who are also going after Anduin's keys. These are held by Feol the Afflictor, tasked with breaking down the most powerful souls in the Tremaculum to serve the Jailer. Thank you, champion. I feared I would never be free of those shackles. We should move quickly. Are you fit to travel? I will be fine once this place is behind us. Lead on. Those wounds look serious, Thrall. Let me tend them. Thank you, Anduin. It'll feel good to be back at full strength. Your arrival is timely. Our friend has something to share. Speak. How do we leave this place? Futile! The path sealed. Long ago! So there is a way out. Tell us where to find it. Waste home! Got the cauldron! Perhaps... No! Dormant. Broken. Nothing escapes the maw. Could you make sense of what it said, Lord Admiral? The cauldron it spoke of lies beyond the River of Souls. I believe Bane is being held captive there. Then it seems our course is clear. A shadow of hope remains. I will do what I can. cannot leave these innocent souls alone to their fate. Our remaining forces will remain on guard here. Signal us when you find this waystone. You're troubled, Thrall. What is it? Still no sign of Tyrande. We cannot leave her alone in this nightmare. Agreed. But we have no idea how to find her. We will do our best. But this waystone may be our only means of escape. If there's a way out of the Maw, then there has to be a way back in. We will return for her. Hold. I hear something stirring. 
Your wretched souls will feed the coming darkness! Wretched? I heard you were soundly beaten by a force of wretched champions, witch. You will pay for that insult! The skies of your world will be darkened by the wings of my Morsworn! For Azeroth! Ah! Drown! Drown among the souls of the damned! Ah! What is this madness? This sound! It's unbearable! Legion players out there, you will remember Helja, Queen of Helheim, which is a possible Vrykul afterlife. And as it turns out, she's another ally to the Jailer. Legion had a rather interesting storyline going on between Helja and Sylvanas, in which some kind of bargain was made. The Banshee Queen, she got a soul cage out of it, which she used to try and enslave Eir, obtain the power to create more Valkyr, but it's unknown what exactly Helja got out of it. We didn't find out in the expansion either. We just, we raided Helja, and now she's back, more pissed than ever. Look, on the precipice above, is that... The Jailer. He has pain. Pitiful mortal. I find your spirit. Unworthy. Pain! No! His wounds are mending, but his spirit remains weakened. I've never seen anything like it. I believe I have. In a place very far from here. Apparently, from he has seen his dark magic amongst the Shadowmoon clan, an orcish clan from Draenor, and the only cure is to find the object that they use to poison the spirits and shatter it. Next to that, we also check out some of the armory just lying around, as he was a fool to just throw his weapon away. Quite picky about what he swings with, though. The crossbow, it just does a melee as well as a proper axe does. At last! A proper warrior's weapon. If the Jailer comes, he will taste my steel. This must be the dagger. Bane's blood still stains its blade. When I break the blade, be prepared for whatever comes. I think he's coming too. Bane, can you hear me? Anduin? Uh, I, I thought my end had come. It almost did, were it not for this champion. Then you have my eternal gratitude, hero. We seek a waystone located beyond the cauldron. Have you seen it? I spotted an obelisk of ancient stone upon the high ridge. It did not seem important. The Jailer's forces pay it little heed. What do you think it is? What would you ask? Our way out of here, we hope. A single spark can set the world aflame. <sighs> the Jailer's forces seem endless. There is no way we can fight through them all. Jaina. Can you hide us from their sight? My spell will get us past most of his guards, but there will likely be some who can see through it. Stay close. We can't afford to draw their attention. The size of the Jailer's army rivals that of the Legion, and it's growing larger. So many souls pouring into the Maw. The dead of Azeroth, Draenor, worlds beyond our imagination. All damned to this place. Hold here. <sighs> to be forged into weapons for the Jailer. Despite all Sylvanas has done, I never thought she'd be part of something like this. That river of souls Helia kicked us in. It actually runs all the way to Torgast, Tower of the Damned. This is the Jailer's seat of power, a place devoid of hope or redemption. Each floor that rises into the endless abyss is more vile and cruel than the last. To climb that tower is to ascend deeper into despair. The Jailer's dwelling is a maze of torment chambers and endless despair, from which there is no escape. Souls damned to the Maw suffer without end. 
they are twisted until only a mere shade of their former glory remains. It is then that the tormented willingly serve the tormentor. His soldiers are the very worst the damned have to offer and are eternally loyal to the very hand that broke them. Even worse is that normally the Ma is reserved for those condemned here, the irredeemable. But at some point, apparently sometime during Legion, this whole system got broken. And now, regardless of how you lived your life, you're sent directly here. Meaning that all those that died in the fourth war, Battle for Azeroth, those that died at Teldrassil, Sourfang, and so many more, they've all spent their time here, adding to the Jailer's forces and power, and by extension, also adding to Sylvanas' power. And as Anduin said, it's not just Azeroth souls that end up in the Shadowlands. Draenor, worlds beyond our imagination, even beings that die on alternate realities, like a Garrosh Hellscream that died on alternate Draenor, they still end up in the same afterlife. That does raise the question as to what would happen with duplicates. If you deal with alternate realities, you also sometimes deal with two of the same character. Gul'dan, that would be a prime example. We know of one version that died during Warcraft 3, and one that died in Legion. How does that work? And in my opinion, a very easy explanation, that would be that the Shadowlands, it has a massive amount of possibilities, a massive amount of realms where you could end up in. The zones that we see, they're, they're only the start, a taste of what the Shadowlands has to offer. So the chance that two of these souls, they end up in the same exact place, it's really, really small. And even if they would, they are still spirits. They might not look the way that they did in life. Who's to say that they would even recognize each other, or that we would recognize that spirit as, oh yeah, that is a Gul'dan. See that river of souls right there, it has a whole bunch of different spirits just floating by. Who knows if double Gul'dan was actually in there. But that's not the answer Blizzard is going with though. It's quite extensive and I'll link it down below. In essence, it comes down to being part of a rope. And even though the rope, it has different threats, eventually those threats combine to make one rope that is that character. Which is interesting, considering the whole judgment system they got going on. Different souls make completely different choices in life. It's a bit much to go into right now, but a lot of you asked what happens to the duplicates. For now, let's head back into the Maw and find a way out of here. The Waystone was said to be dormant, yet it seems to be reacting to our presence. I can't find a way to activate it. I don't think the stone is responding to us. I think it's responding to this champion. Victory. When the, the jailer light. realizes our plan, he'll send all his forces against us. Our only chance is to keep them at bay long enough for the Waystone to fully charge. Every second counts. A relic of the first ones. Responding to a mortal? Impossible. Horsewall, take them! It is unknown who these first ones are, a mystery that hopefully is going to be revealed during the story of the Shadowlands, and it's uncertain as to why this relic of theirs is responding specifically to us. Some guess that it might have something to do with our Heart of Azeroth, obtained in Battle for Azeroth, which it might be a thing, but as far as I know, the new players, they don't actually get a Heart of Azeroth, so unsure how that would fit. My forces are fast! Endless! We have stopped endless armies before. We will never yield! Death comes for the soul of your world. All that you see, all that you know, will be undone. Jaina, something's wrong. It seems the Waystone has stopped charging. The stone responds to you, champion. Try to activate it while we hold off the Jailer's army. Nothing escapes the mob. Yield to the inevitable. They've stopped their advance. with me, even here. Go, champion! Go!
you have failed. No, I have precisely what I need. Uh, whoops. We kind of activated the waystone and we teleported out of the mall. But the ones we were meant to save, Thrall, Bane, Jane, and Enduin, the ones who came with to help, Darien and the Evanblade, the one who was not supposed to come at all, Truon the Whisperwinds, they're all still stuck in the mall, once again enjoying the Jailer's hospitality. Ah oh well, not much we can do about it right now. The eternal city of Orobos and our adventures further into the Shadowlands awaits, but that's going to be for next time. For now, thank you very much for watching everyone. Say that you want more details on all the things that we talked about today, then check out the Delayed Wild article in the description down below. You could also subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time, see ya!